Finally, we'll look at how to back up your EndNote library and work across devices using EndNote Online. First of all, I'll show you how to make a simple backup of your EndNote library. A backup is just a file uh, that is a compressed version of your EndNote library and you can put that somewhere safe and um, it'll be there for you if something happens to the computer that your EndNote library is stored on. And you can make as many backups as you like and you can put them wherever you like just as long as you download them to the hard drive of your computer before you open them and use them as your working EndNote library. So in order to do this, I'm in EndNote and I just go right up to File and choose Compress Library. And what this does is it squashes together all the different parts of my EndNote library. There are two main parts to any EndNote library. One is a file that contains all the references and the other is a folder that EndNote makes automatically that contains any PDFs and also group information. So I want all that information kept together and so I choose Compressed Library here, and then I get this dialog box asking me if I want file attachments, if that's all those PDFs, yes I do, and I want to make a backup of all my references as well. So I just leave all of these set to the default and choose Next, and then I save it somewhere. And then of course once I've saved it here, say in my Documents folder, I can then email that to myself or I can put it in, uh, in OneDrive or in um, Google Drive or wherever I want to keep it. It's just that when I want to use it again, I need to make sure to put it on the hard drive of a computer. So I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to give it a file name that is a date so I know for sure that this is a version of my EndNote library um, that is up to date as of this particular date and then just click save. And now I have a backup of my EndNote library. Another option is to use EndNote online. So, uh, and you can use these two options together. So you can make regular backups and put them in a safe place for safekeeping. But you can also use EndNote Online, which is a free account that you can set up. And you can use this for two reasons. You can use it to have another backup, and this time a backup that's based in the cloud. So you can make sure that your EndNote Online is synced or synchronized to this desktop library so that they both have exactly the same references in them and then you have a copy always available to you if something goes wrong with the one that's here on my computer. And you can also use it to work across devices, across computers and locations. So let's say that I'm working at AUT on my EndNote library and then I want to go home and do some more work later on after dinner. So I can sync my EndNote library here to EndNote Online, go home and then sync a blank library at home to EndNote Online and that way I will have basically copied my references across from one computer to another. If you want to know more about using EndNote Online, come to the EndNote guide and then take a look at the EndNote Online section. There are instructions here on how to create your EndNote Online account, which you get from accessing Web of Science on AUT Library's databases page, and then more information about synchronizing your library, that's really helpful, and then working uh, on EndNote Online, collecting references, organizing, sharing, and so on. So that brings us to the end of this webinar. I hope it was useful. Don't forget that if you need more help with EndNote or with finding and using information in general, you can contact your liaison librarian. There's a list on the library website of all of the li liaison librarians with their contact details. You can also use the chat feature on the AUT library website to talk to a librarian while the library is open. And all the best with your studies. Ka kite anō.